I am really hoping that this video reaches its target audience, but I cannot be the only person that every time I get a game, I cannot fully enjoy it if I can't add anything to it. Like if I can't get any mods or custom content, it's just really boring for me because it's like I'm paying $10 for one skin. Um, I better be able to customize it. Hello? Hello there dolls and dollettes. Welcome to First All Sims. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to get mods and custom content in Marvel Rivals. And you may be wondering, um, you're First All Sims for a reason. Like, bitch, stick to that. Listen, listen, Linda, okay? Us Sims girlies, if you know that you're an OG Simmer, you know that custom content is bound to be in your game, okay? And lately, I've been playing Marvel Rivals, and I said, okay, well, this is a game I have to be able to have mods in it, and I figured it out. So, if you don't know how to get mods in your Marvel Rivals game, well, I'm going to show you. So sit back, relax, grab a matcha, grab a tea, get pretty first, and let's get into this video. I want to say the really good thing about getting mods or getting custom content, especially for Marvel Rivals, is that it's much shorter of a process than The Sims 4. Now, if you don't know or are, or you're new to getting mods, the only thing I would say you need to download is WinZip or WinRAR. I'm going to type it in so you dolls can see, because I feel as though a lot of you don't know still. And if you're new here, welcome, hello. We're going to lock in because you don't need to be a technical genius to know how to have mods or have fun in your game. This is exactly why I say getting a PC or getting any type of, like, gaming desktop or not even desktop or like yeah a pc get you a pc it could be it doesn't have to be like an overly expensive one like mine i would say she was a pretty penny but i had to invest in myself yes you don't really have to but i will say getting a pc is so good because you can get so much for free and i hate one thing about me that you need to know okay i despise capitalism and consumerism and i'm releasing this because yes am i a business major yes i watch how people shop and i know how businesses like to rob us okay there's no reason why we should be spending money on little cutesy cosmetics like we already have the game you know what i'm saying and i get that marvel rivals is free but okay let me stop my little coke rant let me chill out and show you guys so the first thing you're going to need to do is download either winrar or winzip i'm going to link both in the description below so you can just easily download it and since i already have it i'm not going to go ahead and download it, but i am going to go here and show you guys what you need to do so it's automatically going to show you needs to be installed based on like your computer stats or whatever and if you're not fully updated on your computer i would suggest updating your settings and everything first before you go ahead and download stuff it's just a normal thing to do just make sure that your entire computer is updated and up to date so you know like what type of windows device you have and then every time you go into your settings you will know most of the time though it will show you right here which needs to download so you'll just press WinRAR 7.10 download and the same thing for WinZip and I will say on Mac it is hard because I know that you can have Marvel Rivals on your MacBook but I just wouldn't really recommend it. That game crashes on my $1,000 PC. So it's like, what's that? What the point? What's the point of that? So the reason why you need WinRAR installed is because in order to extract files in your documents folder, WinRAR is just the easiest tool that you're, you're just gonna, you're just gonna need it. Okay. After you download WinRAR, you'll see her pop up in your documents folder. So what you're gonna do is click on this little folder right here and it's gonna take you to home. And then I always like to go to downloads because downloads shows you every single thing that you download. And every time I type in WinRAR, we know that she is there. She's gonna be here, like when we type in WinRAR. So, next, you're just gonna go to this website that is called Nexus, and I'm just gonna link the Marvel Rivals search thing so you guys don't even have to worry about searching for it in the description box. See, you guys should just thank me like for right now because I like making things easy for my dolls. I feel like I'm at a point now where I want people to have fun with you. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, to make you go through all these steps and uh, just have fun okay you're gonna go to nexus and i'm it's gonna say it's gonna have nexusmods.com so if you don't really want to click the description in the below you can go right there and just type in nexus mods and i only say that i'm gonna link in the description so you guys can see like go right to the marvel rivals page itself and what you're gonna want to do the easiest thing which i feel like is so fun for me type in literally your favorite character from Marvel Rivals, any hero, villain, whatever. Now, if you're new to Marvel Rivals and you still wanna have like some level of custom content in your game, if you're just like me, cause I'm very new to the game. And this game is pretty similar to Paladins, Overwatch, stuff like that. So it's, I am gonna type in Psylocke so I can get a new custom content piece for her because I kind of miss her. I, what I have now, I have like this white skin for her and I have like this mod that makes her boobs bigger and butt bigger and is that a little problematic? Okay, it depends on who you ask, because for me, I'd say that's really cunty that they gave her more, but then it's like you think about who made the mod, so it's like, oh, that's a little <laughs> crazy. So after I typed in Psylocke, it showed me immediately from the Marvel Rivals page all the mods that are listed to Psylocke. And as we can see, I realized that this website actually updates weekly, and because Marvel Rivals is a brand new game, 
all of the skins are like remade over and over. So as of right now, there's a new Psylocke skin that just came out. It's this one. <gasps> they have her in black. Oh my gosh. So there's a red version to this one. And I said, I need her in either black or white. So what you're going to want to do is since I really, really want her. And also Nexus Mods is so quick and simple guys you don't really need an account i have mine because i know that i'm going to support this page regardless and you know i'm showing her off for my dolls and so as we can see she has we can get this in black and white and also as well i want to make clear your custom content and your mods will not be shown to anyone else in game which i think is you may be wondering okay that's really freaking annoying because what if i want to stream it on but just to see how good i look i get it However, it's really easy for games like these, especially when they're really new, they have anti-cheat services. If you have it through Steam, Epic Games, there's always going to be an anti-cheat service, which is going to be really difficult if you want to play with other people and have your custom content. So I think it's best that the creators said, you know what, only you can see it. I think that's all that matters. No one else. After you get the skin that you want or look through the skins that you want, because I really want a black or a white, I'm going to click download. And then I'm going to scroll down to the files right here. So we can either choose between the black Kiryudo, I think that's how you say it, the black skin or the white one. And since I already have a white skin for her, I'm going to get the black one. What, so what you're going to want to do is click on manual download. And then you're going to just click slow download. Your download takes five seconds. It does not take long dolls, okay? There's no reason as to why this thing should take longer. If you have the most butt ugliest Wi-Fi, maybe that's an issue, but doubtful. Now, after you downloaded the file, it should come up in your downloads thing at the top right corner like you guys just saw. It should say downloads right here. What I like to do is start fresh and close out all of my documents folders because I just always have them open from The Sims 4. If you play The Sims 4, you know that you're going to have your documents folder open anytime, all the time. You're just going to click on the little folder like so. It's going to take you here and then you're just going to right click and then you're going to click WinRAR or WinZip, it doesn't matter. I like to always do WinRAR regardless if it says, hold on, I'll just X this out so it's like not overstimulating you dolls, okay? You're always going to want to make sure that it says either WinZip or WinRAR file or archive, whatever. Regardless if you have WinZip or WinRAR, you can use both to extract the files. So you're just gonna right click, click WinRAR, extract files, then you're gonna press okay. Then it'll take you automatically to a little folder. After you extract her, it's going to show up as a little file that says file folder. So right here it says WinZip file. You should see something that says file folder. You're just going to double click into her. And then as you can see, it says something that says black blood, Karyoto, all the numbers, dot pack. If it doesn't say dot pack or it's not a pack file, it's not going to work. So just make sure you guys are not getting scammed by using other mod websites. I'm not sure of any other mod websites right now at the moment. I know another one called VG Games that was that allowed me to actually get a mod that can make Salox butt move just a lot more. I just, I love that for me, at least. It's just cunt. After you have this step, you just leave your this folder open and what i like to do is because i have marvel rivals on steam this works for epic games as well please don't think that it's not going to it will you're going to go to steam and then it'll automatically take you to your library but if not we can always go through the store and i can show you guys i'm going to go to library and then you're going to go all the way to see marvel rivals click on her then you're going to right click then you're going to press manage then you're going to go to where is it? browse local files so then it takes you here Minus this out, so then you can see, you guys can are able to see both of the folders side by side. That way it's much easier for if you want to be able to navigate it. As you can see right here, we have the char set normalizer. We have a bunch of little folders here. The only one that you're going to need out of all of this, all these don't really matter. You're going to click on Marvel game. Then you're going to click on Marvel. Then content, packs. And as you can see, the PAX folder is the exact same thing that is spelled right here, P-A-K file. Then you're going to right click. Make sure that you're not hovering over any of these when you're doing this process. So please pay attention. You're just going to right click. You're going to press new folder. You can name this mods, whatever thing you want. I always use folders in all of my mods because if I know I have an addiction to getting mods and custom content for any game, I want to make sure that my folders are all organized. So this one... I'll just put PSY for Psylocke there. So we have a new folder for her and I already have a folder made called Tilda Mods that it's just a random name like Matilda, whatever, where I put all my other mods for her. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually not going to use this folder that I just made, the PSY folder. It doesn't really, I don't need her. I can just click and drag, look, click over on the Black Blood Kuriyoto pack. And then we're just going to drag her right on in to our Tilda Mods folder.
like so. Make sure that it says move to tilde mods. And if you get a little too scared where you feel like it's just not gonna work for you, you can always click into your folder that you just made and then drag her simply into the thick space, like so. Now, I'm gonna open Steam and then go straight into Marvel Rivals and it should be just that simple. You also wanna make sure if you do have a skin that you want or a certain hero, you cannot download a mod of a skin that you don't have. It just won't work. Like that's like saying, okay, I'm gonna go get a mod or a CC for this skin and it's not purchased, babes. Purchase that skin first and then put the mod in your game or vice versa. Or if you're planning on it, you'll already have it in your game. So let me just launch the game. I wanted to make that disclaimer really quickly. I think it's so wild that I pretty much did the thing that I just explained to you guys I wasn't supposed to do. So I didn't have the original skin purchased anyway. So I just went ahead and actually bought the skin. So I will say, dolls, right now, since Marvel Rivals is really new, you will have to shed a, just a penny on the skin that you want. This is not saying that on the OG skin that you have, there will not be custom content for it. There is. So if you want to be completely free, you can. There are free mods for her. But this one that I wanted, she was $10 that I just spent. Well, a little more. I actually paid like pretty much 15 because she's 1600 Lattice or whatever that's called. I don't even know if it's called Latisse or whatever. Correct me if I'm wrong. So what I wanted to say as well, when you do have mods first, before I even say, let me do the reveal of my bitch. Okay. So let me, her is her in black. We all know she comes in red. Clearly she's like right there. I'm gonna get her, yeah. And when I purchase her, she's in all black. She's in the black custom content that we had. If you guys know Psylocke and this skin, she's normally in red, okay? So I this is a gift to myself. And I think it's kind of off ramp to call her like the blood Cariuto and she's black, but it's fine, okay? This is hot, she's fab, she's here. But I was gonna say that if you do plan on going back to the original custom content that you had, you will have to not delete her or delete the document. You'll just have to exit the game, do a lot. So this is also mods for my other character. Hopefully this does not get demonetized simply because she has like her vagina out. And as you can see, she's a little extra on the thicker side. Now, dolls, if you want to know how i got that you let me know okay but i will show you right now how to remove any of the custom content that you don't want if you want to get more because i will say for say if it's one skin and you find say for example this comes in pink i would have to delete the white version to that so i'm going to show you guys really quickly how that, that looks so once you exit the game completely you're going to want to make sure if you are in steam or epic games you just either press stop like this, you exit the game completely so there's nothing running in those processes, or you go to your task manager and you end the task. So I'll show you guys how to do that right now. You're just gonna go to search, task manager. Your task manager is the quickest tool to get rid of a game that's just running in the background, that's either crashing or whatever. And since Marvel Rivals is not here, since I already closed it, you're not gonna see it. But what you would do is you would right click on whatever it is and then you would just press this little button that says end task and she'll disappear just like that. It is so fast, so quick, so easy. Another thing too, when having custom content or mods, it's really hard to keep it organized and to find it again. So I wanna show you guys quickly how to navigate that folder once more. You're just gonna right click on Marvel Rivals, manage, and then you're gonna click browse local files. Then you're gonna do Marvel game, Marvel, content, packs. Then you're here, you're back in your mods folder. You're going to click into, and also to, what windows does does that even how you say it? what they do any recent folder that you open or you often use will stay on the left hand side you can always pin the mods folder so it's easier for you instead of having to go back and forth and back and forth so this is just on the side for me because i'm always opening it so if you ever want to delete it so since i already i had the black blood pack whatever if you don't want it anymore or you're just not in the mood for her anymore, you can always just move it to your desktop. What I like to do sometimes, which I think I will start doing when I have more, is to just create a brand new folder uh, and just title it old mods and leave them in there and a separate thing. And then when you're ready, leave it at your desktop and you're ready, you just drag it right back into your game and you can change it just like that. I'm telling you, it is so easy to get mods and I'm telling you, there is a lot to choose from in terms of cosmetics for all of your heroes. Not only, are there little cosmetics that you can add, such as like making like recolors and stuff, but you can add physical parts. Now, some people are getting very freaky and crazy with them by making these heroes not have clothes. Now, this is why I say, 
sometimes we just can't have anything nice but i hope you dolls don't do that so if you enjoyed this video make sure you leave a like make sure you comment make sure you subscribe i hope you enjoyed this video and if you want more marvel rivals content in the future which that is coming up obviously because i make a tutorial on it that's how this goes let me know in the comments below i love you guys so so much i will see you in the next video and bye